get ready. So I have, oh, sorry, okay, stepped on the stick. I have some really big news, like pretty big. I was walking out to do my chores this morning and I found a chicken who had a ton of baby chicks. Yeah, she was actually right there, but we, my mom and I got her into here, which was a huge hassle and like super stressful, but now she's with her baby chicks. I think she has like 10. She has, it seems like a lot. And they can fit through the fence hole and one was stuck and we had to get that out. Well, we got him some food and water. But it was crazy, the journey. She was way up in our front yard. Okay, so she is right here and she had to travel all the way through this area with baby chicks all the way through here. <laughs> I don't even know how, but she had to go, because we have a fence right there, she had to go through this fence. Well, it's not through it, but I'm guessing she jumped over it and they went underneath. Then, it's kind of, not junky, but this is where we store a lot of our stuff. Okay. Oh wait, I passed it. Oh wait, no I didn't. I can't, oh, never mind, I remember. It is over here. So she traveled out of here with chicks. Okay, yes, underneath the boat. I forgot for a second. <laughs> Right here is where they hatched. There's an eggshell right there. And then over here, there's a nest and she like, there's feathers there and there's more eggshells. So the Andersons decided that we were going to do eggs. The first one here is duck eggs. Catherine just put them in today. And the temperature is rising to 99.5. And we're just kind of waiting because um, the eggs have to get warm and you'll see if I'm going to get a little closer that there's some uh, condensation on the side here and you can see some deck eggs here and um, we're going to be candling these so I just wanted to put as day one checkpoint. Over here on this side is chicken eggs. There's 29 chicken eggs. This is a little newer version of it, and we're giving it a go. I've not been too impressed with this model, and uh, we might have to take it back. So we're monitoring those. They have a temperature here, and they're supposed to be 99.5 degrees for the whole entire time, 21 days. No, there might be somebody in there. It's kind of unsure. You can't like you well. Why can't you eat like? A baby chick hatch. And it's in the incubator. It's an early bird. Yeah, he um was actually born early because we were all expecting him to be hatched tomorrow night, roughly. And he's sitting there crying away, which is gonna be we don't know what we're gonna do because um he's gonna be so lonely. And then we have a little setup over here. 
for him. We got a feather duster taped to the edge. And then some food and water. We took the chick out of the incubator and we stuck him in here. And he still got his little umbilical cord still on there, but it's drying out. You don't ever take the umbilical cord off. It has to dry out all on its own. But he's doing really good. He's starting to get some fluff around him and he loves your hand. Can I put my hand in there? It soothes him. He's kind of lonely right now. We got a feather duster in here. This is something new. We're trying to mimic them going in and out of their mommy's feathers. But it's so cute. Look at he's very comforted by your hand. This is one benefit of doing chicks inside the house. They get very used to you. And over here we have over here we have another chick that is got a little pickle. So more baby chicks have hatched, but all of them have needed help. My mom has had to wet down their little membrane thing so they could break open because we didn't put enough moisture in when they were in the incubator. That one just hatched. So cute. This one still has um his little um umbilical cord thing stuck to him. And then over here, here's Isabel. She's looking at the chicks. And there's one that's working on hatching right now. It's that chick right there. The kids are so excited about him being born. This one? No, that one. Right there, Michael. You see? Two more chickies hatched. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Mom's got her, her hands are super messy full of gook. These are the two that hatched. They're being so loud. <laughs> what you got going on here? We don't know if his yeah we don't know if his body's twisted up because it kind of looks like we it. did most of all of that um we, we did that he didn't none of the chicks that we've hatched so far have made their own little pib line we've done it for them these ones have oh these two have these two have made their own pib line that's the first one they're the only what? not lazy ones I don't know you guys are loud. I'm just gonna move this. That's just stabbing him in his back. It's one there. That's what it is. Okay. See, to me, it looks like there's still a lot of yolk left. Doesn't that? I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is either. It looks like his wing is right next to his face. I think that's how they're supposed to be. Eight chicks so far. Uh, come on there, baby. We just want you to be okay. That is a lot of chick. Look at it. Yeah. Oh, wait. So, here is the super awesome room for the chicks. You can see the red lights glowing. It's really warm in here. That's my tabby. She is um, wanting to keep an eye on the chicks and she's not too happy because one is cheeping really loud. 
Here they are, full of chips. There's only four. This is the station where we keep them when they get all dry. With some dirt and wet food and some water. And my guard dog who's cooking hot because it's really hot in here. But she just has to be with her chicks. Ah, Tia. Did you have to be with the chicks, don't you? Huh? Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. How are those chicks doing? You're so hot. Why don't you go on outside? Nope. Not this dog. She wants to make sure that her babies are okay. So this is Tabby. After a long day of looking after her chicks. She's exhausted. They're supposed to be nocturnal, but um, I don't know about tonight. Now we had a treadle chick today. And um, sorry about the finger. And uh, it's hatched here. It's this one right here. And uh, it's not too happy. It's got a little blood there from its finger bill cord. There we go. It's trying to figure out things. So there's the next step. Hopefully we'll get all nice and fluffy like his friend. And uh, get him some food and water. I thought we were all done. I can't see his feet even. <laughs> is he the feet from the other side? It's moving. 